Three loops of wire move near a long straight wire carrying a current, as in the figure. What is the direction of the induced current, if any, in loop A? What is the direction of the induced current, if any, in loop B? And what is the direction of the induced current, if any, in loop C? So just from the equation that the, the EMF, the induced current, is equal to the change in magnetic flux over the change of time, we can, uh, and then it's times the number of turns, we can just look and see which ones are changing the magnetic flux, first of all. So at closest to the wire, you're going to have the densest magnetic flux, and then as you get further away, the magnetic flux is going to decrease all the way out. And so in both cases of C and B, they're going from high concentrations of magnetic flux passing through them to where they would be over here with low concentrations of magnetic flux going through them. So their, their flux is both changing. A, on the other hand, has no change in flux. It's got, let's say, five uh, magnetic flux lines going through it, and when it moves up here, it'll still have five magnetic flux lines going through it. So it's change, it doesn't change in flux, so there'll be no current in A. Next for B and C, we'll use Linz's law. Linz's law says that the induced current will travel in the direction that opposes the change of the magnetic field. So if we use the right-hand rule on this wire to find out what direction the field is going, we, we'll simply just take, uh, we'll, your thumb will point up this way, your fingers will curl around in that direction. So on the left side of the page, the current is coming out of the screen. On the right side, the current is going into the screen. So as B travels this way, it is having less and less current coming out of the page. So it is going to induce a current that increases the current that's coming out of the page, that increases the, the magnetic field that's coming out of the page. And it will, it will have that field coming out of the page in the center of the loop. So just keep in mind that it's in the center of the loop. So if you use the right hand rule, you'll find that the current has to travel in that direction in order to increase the magnetic field coming out of the page. And that direction is counterclockwise. Now C has current going into the loop, and as it travels this way, it will have less and less current going into the loop. So it's, uh, or I'm saying current, it's have less and less magnetic field going into the loop. So it will have an induced current that causes more magnetic field to go into the center of the loop, which, again, the right hand rule, if you curl your, you point your thumb in the direction that the current would move, then your finger, fingers will curl in the direction that the magnetic field will be created. And so it will have more and more magnetic field going into the loop uh, by the induced current, and therefore it would be clockwise. So B is counterclockwise, and A is no current induced. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the About section of this video. And on the blog, you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.